four. It's a number at the heart of U.S. trade with China. For every one dollar in goods the U.S. sells to China, it imports more than four dollars of Chinese-made goods. It's a relationship that has kept prices for American consumers low. It has enriched companies and their shareholders, but moved the American factory floor for textiles, apparel, and the like halfway across the world. American working class anger about this arrangement brought Donald Trump to the White House. 20% of everything the United States imports comes from China. Trump has blasted the imbalance of the U.S.-Chinese trade relationship, sometimes in the crudest terms. He describes trade as a binary arrangement with one winner and one loser, and the U.S. is the loser. He calls China a currency manipulator for holding its currency in a trading band that favors Chinese goods against dollar-denominated U.S. exports. The relationship is not simple. Technology is also a driver of job loss, complicating the trade is bad argument. In many cases, the factory jobs that left the U.S. for China have now left China for other developing countries. And the relationship is not just tennis shoes and Boeing airplanes. There is cyber espionage, hacking. China is expanding in the South China Sea, but is also a buffer to an erratic and dangerous North Korea. What President-elect Trump does next? is critical. Trade experts say American companies and American workers have the most to lose if China retaliates against a hostile Trump administration trade policy. The message from the markets to President-elect Trump, if you want to keep the stock market rally going and the economy growing, don't start a trade war, especially with China.